Okay, were you surprised oh. the Lakers? St- you didn't. Oh, you thought no. the Grizzlies were oh, going to right. win. No, I didn't. Yeah. No, find me picking the Grizzlies to win. I said the Grizzlies had to win. I said it was a must win, which means good night, good luck, series over. Wow. Oh, uh, you <laughs> let the Lakers win the LeBron feel out game? You let the Lakers win a game when LeBron wasn't even that good? You let the Lakers win the game because Rui Hachimura and Austin Reeves lit you up for 50-plus? Oh, no, no, no. This series we thought was going to be a classic. Instead, it looks like it might be a quick one. Guys, Darvin Ham, I was nervous about him. I don't – first first Good returns, job. tight nine-man playoff rotation, kept LeBron's minutes down, kept Austin Reeves cl- uh, fresh – for the fourth quarter, so he could be the closer for a game. What good. did we said that Desmond Bain would be the X factor, and Desmond Bain shoots thirty some percent from the field? How are the Lakers going to guard these super quick point guards in the West? Most notably, John ja Morant this round and De'Aaron Fox next round after the Kings dispatch to the Warriors. Evidently, the answer is Jared Vanderbilt on them, and Ja pre-injury uh-huh. was struggling some. So, so yeah, uh-huh. it's all coming up, LeBron. The Warriors are well, down. The Suns look shaky. It, 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 we'll see if the, what the Nuggets do. They looked good in their first game. But they did. this couldn't be shaping up better. And, yeah, this was a must win for the Grizzlies, which is why I will early no, on don't even bring offer it out. Chris Broussard I, the olive branch. I'm not the one that switches mid Chris series. Broussard right? the olive branch. No. Keep for, for your olive Memphis brand. Memphis Grizzlies. Okay, I, you're going to regret what was that. The question? Am I surprised? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm surprised. I Look, the Lakers were phenomenal. Yeah. If he didn't have such smugness about him, I'd agree with what he was saying. No, the Lakers were great. I'm surprised they won. I'm surprised Austin Reeves was so good. I wasn't. Because remember, he knew this was his first playoff practice. game. And, and I props to LeBron. Re- real serious about this for giving Frank Vogel some credit. Yeah. He shouted out Vogel in the press conference. Oh, he didn't nice. have to do that. Vogel got, you know, everybody they ran him out of L.A. He got him a championship. Shout out to LeBron for that. But Reeves was great. And remember, this was his first playoff game. And the way he played in the play-in, 4 for 13, I thought, uh-oh, the bright lights of the playoffs might hurt. No way. D'Angelo Russell, I was surprised that he played so well. Because – D'Angelo's last seven playoff games before this one, he averaged – he had one time he scored more than 12 points. One time. And he shot 30% from the floor. So, I was surprised at D'Angelo. And Rui, of course. And, and, I mean, Rui, this was his highest scoring game as a Laker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he the does best. it in the playoffs. Like, got to give him credit. If it wasn't for him in that third quarter – Totally agree. That that was well, he turned it, a six point deficit into a six it, point it, lead with the four threes. So yeah, look, AD was great. Well, that's what I wanted. LeBron to jump on. was solid, just fine. Yeah. But feel out the, game. yeah, it was it wasn't a feel out, but he was trying. No, no, I mean, feel out game. Just wasn't it. Look, Although, game he, but here's the thing. Yeah. This is what I will say. This is how the Lakers should play. This type of balance. Like, they don't, I, you don't need – there might be a game or two where he has to carry you if these other guys are off. But they're going into games, it should be Let's LeBron's see. a part of the system, Correct. not the system. And I do. They look better with him, you know, playing this way than shooting but 25 playing shots. out of their minds, bro. You think – Well, you Rui's, think Rui's not going to go – But maybe out. somebody else will step up. So, here, so no. once – this is when I knew the game was over. Once Austin Reeves threw that behind the back pass, and it was like, great shot from Rui. I was like, no, you guys better guard Austin Reeves now. And here's how the next possessions are. Reeves 14-footer. Reeves layup. Reeves three. Reeves floater. Yep. And then he's saying, I'm him. Up eight, 91 <laughs> seconds left. Nick, I swear to God, I, I looked into his eyes. I could see it. He's like, I'm going to crown myself right here. I'm going to put a little <laughs> crown on my head. He's saying he's him with LeBron and AD I'm on the, uh, and ja on the bench yeah. watch. So he's like, I'm going to crown myself. I like Austin, Austin Reeves. Reeves a lot. Uh, I think that is the death of that phrase, though. It lived a good life. Much like the gritty died when Mac Jones did it in the Pro Bowl. The gritty still I'm alive. him People died. like Reeves. And Reeves. I like Reeves a lot. Yeah. But it is, if the threshold, it's like when the when all of a sudden you were watching league pass and you're like, hold on a second, was that an MVP chant for Paolo Bancaro? I think they <laughs> jumped the shark a bit. Then I, I think the I'm him maybe is done. But a couple quick things. One is you mentioned AD, and I didn't even mention him once. He was sensational. It was a, games like yesterday, he looks like the best defensive player in the sport. 
He, he had and, seven. And one of the best players, period. Co- the oh, way he correct. Played. But, I mean, offensively, he took no threes. Yeah. He only took jumpers when it was like the obvious choice, either late in the shot clock or was wide open, and was a menace defensively. Yeah. Yeah. Blocked seven shots, altered another half dozen. Mm-hmm. And now we have, and this is why I offered you the olive branch, Brew. There's no way the Lakers lose this series. LeBron James, after winning game ones, we can show it to you, is 27 oh, and fun. two. And then you add to the fact, and we can show you this graphic, that LeBron has never lost a round one series, excluding, mm. of course, seasons when Solomon Hill somersaults into his ankle. Stand they take those out of it, and he's 14 and 0 in round one. Bro, you can't be feeling good about the Grizzlies right now. Well, the, the reason I'm really worried about the Grizzlies is Ja Morant. Okay. I mean, if he's out, and it, I, he didn't sound like he's going to play. Well, I don't so know we, if have he the, sound. Oh, we have the sound. Okay, Let's yeah. play Ja's sound before Chris jumps the rundown. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Brew, that does, I don't think he's going to play a game, too. I mean, and even if he can, it sounds like his two fingers, whether they're broken or, you know, x-rays were negative, so that's mm-hmm. good. But it sounds like they're severely sprained. Spra- yeah, it looked sprained, jammed. Terrible. Yeah, it, did, it really did. So, and it's his shooting hands. He's going to have trouble handling the ball, obviously shooting. So, look, if John Morant can't play in game two, is hindered the rest, or at least the next, you know, few games after that, even That's if he can play. Yeah, they can't beat wrap them. Up the season. One of the reasons I thought they could win this series was John Morant. Well, yeah, of course. And with him not being himself as good as Tyus Jones is as a backup, and they've won a lot yeah, of games. They They're now without Ja, yeah. Stephen Adams, and Brandon the, Clark. It, I mean, it, they were 21-5 and five five without Ja last year. They obviously went on a nice winning streak without Ja this year. But he is their best player. And the, he's their, you know, their MVP candidate in, under normal circumstances. So, I, listen, I think they were cooks with him. They're certainly cooked without him. I want to talk about how we can make sure this doesn't happen again. And I have said this for five years on television, and people th- have thought previously thought it was ridiculous, and now, because Giannis got hurt on a similar play and Ja got hurt on this play, the weak side charges, the off-ball defender jumping over to take a charge needs to be eradicated. It simply should be a block yes. every time. It should <laughs> not... It should not be a play defenders try to make. I'm not saying you get rid of all offensive fouls. If you are guarding a guy head up and he plows through you, that can be a charge. If a guy pushes off, that can be a charge. But this thing that was popularized by mediocre college basketball players 25 years ago, and then your buddy Bill Simmons pointed this out today, and he's right, and then mastered by Jason Kidd in the early 2000s of I'm not in the play, I'm not in the play, boom, let me jump over and take this charge. It's the most dangerous play in the sport. And we saw, Brew, them drastically change how guys have to close out shooters right. because of one Kawhi Leonard injury. In 12 hours, we had Giannis and Ja both leave games and be you know questionable the rest of the first round. It's it's not a basketball play. It's just not. What what what, what should a defense do though? You Go just, try to you have to you have to try to block. You got to try to block the shot. You, you have to jump. Yeah, you have to jump. You have to try to block the shot. I don't I undercut that. the guy. I buy that. Yeah, the, it, but they got, if they loosen up, like the rules of verticality are so tight. I, where, like, you have to go, like, oh, no, he moved like that. Like, I don't know, Giannis no, ran into him. Yeah, he I'm moved a little bit. I'm fine with them then lo- loosening up the rules on is it a foul, is it not, if you go up to block. But the injuries are right, so much would, less. Right, you essentially have no chance. Right, the injuries are so it. much less when two guys are trying to meet each other at the rim or, or go vertical than, I, and I'm not knocking Kevin Love. We all gave Kevin Love a round of applause because in the game the other day, he drew four of these. Yeah, that was players. ridiculous. Again, n- none of those, it, the NBA, you know, likes to reward and should reward athleticism, high-flying, all these things. And Ja is, and all these guys, 
in jeopardy because someone comes off the ball and never leaves the ground. I hate that. Yeah, I, I'm not ready to sign off on it yet, but I will say it, it potentially it could lead to some more exciting plays. Like you said, maybe they need to loosen the rules defensively. Like if, if the guy can't take a charge and all he oh, – because you don't want to leave the defense defenseless, no, so to speak. Mm-hmm. You know, you've already taken away the hand check. You've already loosened some things up for it to be, you know, more high scoring. I don't want to keep taking defensive plays away. But if you allow guys to – if they, they have to contest it yep, and you're going to give them a little bit of leeway, I think that's then that could add to some more exciting plays. So, uh, okay. it's just unfortunate. I mean, these two – both of them went airborne. You yep. know, Giannis and John. Uh, that's how they got That here. was a Laker game. That means we have our second installment of oh, our Marcus special segment, segment. Wild's Did Wild Thoughts, what was there where Wild's defends his Laker tweets. Sure. Now, this weekend, Wild's was not quite so – with the Twitter fingers. There was only one tweet that stuck out to me as just clearly objectionable, and that is this one. Right at halftime, Kevin Wilds tweets, Ja is right, right as the Memphis Grizzlies take a slim halftime lead and Kevin will into the locker room. And Kevin Wilds is obviously t- uh, referencing Ja's we're all good in the West comment. So I would like That's you. That's incorrect. What, what else could you be <laughs> ja referencing? Ja scores at yeah. ease, which he was doing the entire first half. Well, he had 10 and points. he said, he had 10 points. they can't guard me. Something yeah. to, what did he say? They yeah, can't they guard can't me. Guard and me. I said, guess what, Ja? You were correct. Based on the fact that prior to this jump shot, he had an eight-point half. Let's see what he had. He, yeah. Let's see. John Morant yesterday, we had the, he had ten points yeah. in the first half. Yeah. So you're wrong. No, I, was right. I said prior to that jump shot, he had eight points. Okay, well, prior yeah. to the last three jump shots, I yeah. guess he had four points. Yeah. <laughs> so he had ten points. Yeah. And then the only person that could stop him was Dr. James Naismith or whoever introduced the charge as okay. an official does you know. it, do you believe him, Brew? Yes, that he what, was tweeting yeah, I'm about lying that. I'm lying. Tweeting I, about I, the Grizzlies. Oh, yeah, being I, I don't right think correct. it was refer, referring to the prediction John made what? months ago. Oh, you guys are talking like think, I'm not here. I just I told think you. you yeah, were like I don't <laughs> think he's. Like, yeah, I, just yeah, told I know you. that's what you're saying, but you also say believe. you're a jaw guy. Yeah, Ja literally said, "Stay up over there." Which I did, but I'm. And you've been trying to get back in his good graces ever since. And I am. Oh, just give it up, Wiles. Yeah, I'm the jaw guy. He's the jaw guy. You're about. To be, you're gonna bail. I'm not if, bailing. If, if the, I, he offered me the olive branch, and I was like, "Keep your olive branch." How many toes down are you? Yeah. I'm just curious. Just well, it depends six. on how many fingers Jock. Ja oh, okay. I mean, sure, if Jaw's fine, because Jaw wasn't even. To your point, he wasn't playing well. No. 18.6 assists, six, six yeah. turnovers. Well, Jaw's right. And what were they down? Rolling they were down guard. four before he when he left the exactly. game with injury. Yeah. So it without Jaw, I mean, obviously they got no chance. They couldn't beat a lot of teams without Jaw, but. You know, we'll see what he can do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.